If you need a place to store your stuff or even a small structure to sleep in, a Wyndham County man has you covered. His made in Vermont cottages and sheds have been shipped across the U.S. and Canada. And now he's celebrating a landmark at a South Londonderry location. Here's Scott Fleischman to explain. Scott, I call this the, the dollhouse design. The Jamaica Cottage Shop recently shipped its 10,000th building. So that is quite a milestone. This is what we sell a lot of. Owner Dominic Mangano started the company in Jamaica in 1995. Seven. After graduating with a degree in business management from Green Mountain College, he took four years off to see the country, working carpentry jobs along the way. I call it my grad school. <laughs> When he returned home, Dominic started making dog houses until one day someone asked him if he could build a shed. A shed? I had a Subaru and a skill saw. <laughs> but for Dominic, it was all about fulfilling the needs of the customer. What's the, the shed going to be used for? Garden tools. Garden storage. Mostly. mostly. Yeah. The same holds true today. Essentially, we sell roofs and you want to put something under it. Is it your stuff? Is it your critters? Or is it your family? So we do that post and beams. No matter the size or style, all of the materials used at the Jamaica Cottage shop are local, including the hemlock and pine lumber. They're assembled by Vermont tradesmen, each working in individual spaces on site. We have very clever designs like this one behind us is called the Gibraltar. It's got that barrel arch. This is the Florida room design. This is a screened-in room, a three-season extension of uh, living outdoors. I can only tell you what people tell me. It's priced correctly, and it's very rugged, much heavier than the competition. The success of the fully assembled structures like this shed enabled the Jamaica Cottage Shop to move to this space in South Londonderry. But now 80% of the company's business actually comes from pre-cut kits, so you can DIY it at home. Once the piece is made, then we color code it, put a label on the ends of the lumber. Uh, once that's done, then it gets carefully stacked onto a pallet, and then that's when the product is completed and out the door it goes. It's taken on a form of itself. It's almost like a growing organism now, and I always build on what is my primary principles of business. With professional standards as strong as those post and beam structures, it's no wonder the Jamaica Cottage Shop has reached a grand level. Actually, it's a 10 grand level. Scott Fleischman, Channel 3 News, made in South Londonderry, Vermont.